Ready? Good, Good morning, morning, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Tuesday, October 28th. Tomorrow is Purple Day. Here's what's happening at Richland High School. Tuesday, October 28th, 3 p.m. marching band, 3 p.m. open gym, 7 p.m. dry land workout, 8.40 ice hockey, junior varsity at Somerset. <clears throat> Tuesday, October 28th, varsity boys soccer at 7. PSAT test reminder. The PSAT test will be administered Wednesday, October 29th. All juniors and sophomores <coughs> who signed up to take the PSAT should report to first period for attendance. All juniors should then report to their homeroom except for Mrs. Wyland's homeroom. Students should report to the LGI room as well as the sophomores who are taking the test. Intramurals today, 7th grade line soccer game is between team 1 and team 3. Tomorrow's 8th grade line soccer game is between team 4 and 1. Thursday's 8th grade line soccer game is between team 1 and 3. ASVAB testing. Juniors, students interested in taking the ASVAB test can sign up in Mr. Schertz's classroom. Senior students can sign up in the guidance office. The test will be administered on Friday, November 7th. Senior High Forensics. Forensics practice will resume today. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Miller. Art Club and Anime Club. Students attending the Johnstown Halloween Parade are to see Mrs. Ringler today for further details <coughs> regarding the parade. Sophomore class fundraiser. Sophomore class members are reminded that their Oak Brook favorite fundraiser and money is due to Miss Gruss by tomorrow, Wednesday, October 29th. Freshman class meeting. There will be a freshman class meeting on Friday, October 31st in the cafeteria during period six. All must attend. Scholastic quiz. Congratulations to the varsity and junior varsity scholastic quiz teams for their victories over Coma Valley last night. French club. French club is celebrating National French Week, November 3rd through 7th. Be on the lookout for opportunities to answer trivia questions and win prizes Monday through Friday. French Club wants to get everyone involved in celebrating <coughs> National French Week, so there will be themes for all faculty and students. Mustache Monday, French T-shirt Tuesday, Brett Wednesday, Scarf Thursday, and French Flag Friday. Also, there will be a French movie night from 5 to 7 on Friday, November 7th in C105. There will be food and snacks available. Bring a friend for only $1. Get involved. Help French Club celebrate and tune in tomorrow for a short video. Cross country. Congratulations to Julia Sakharov and Tori Koshis for qualifying for a state cross country championship in Hershey this coming Saturday. Julia fi finished fifth overall at the District 6 meet and Tori finished sixth overall. Good luck to the running Rams. Winter sports signups have begun in the athletic office. Winter sports include varsity. Boys basketball, girls basketball, boys swimming, girls swimming, wrestling. Junior high, boys basketball, girls basketball, wrestling. All participants in winter sports must complete paperwork. SAT cram sessions. SAT cram sessions. Richmond High School will be offering an SAT cram session for math and reading prior to each scheduled SAT this school year. These cram sessions will be offered after school on Fridays from 1245 to 245. Students planning on taking the SAT are encouraged to take advantage of this free opportunity. Classes will be limited to the first 30 students who sign up per session, and students must be pre-registered at bit.ly slash Richland SAT greater than sign to attend session two SAT verbal with Miss Sakira room B117 on October 31st. Students are encouraged to bring their school issued iPad to the cram session. High school musical auditions. All high school students interested in auditioning for t this year's musical. Auditions for Children of Eden will be Wednesday, November 5th, starting at 3 p.m. Sign up for auditions and pick up your audition packets from the tech office. If you already got a packet, be sure to get the new packet with the monologue portion of the audition. Again, sign ups and packets will be at the tech office. Varsity football. Advanced ticket sales. A limited number of pre-sale student tickets for the varsity football game will be on sale in the main office until noon on Friday. Tickets are $3. All tickets are 5 at the gate. 
Middle school reading team meeting. There will be a middle school reading team meeting Tuesday, uh, today after school in the library from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Homeless Awareness Week. Did you know that there are, wait, did you know now that the average age of a homeless person is nine and the fastest growing population is families? Many students become homeless for various reasons, fire, flood, domestic violence, loss of income for the family. Mm -hmm. Students are homeless by living in shelters, cars, campers, tents, and even living with family or friends due to the lack of housing. The Richland School District, in coordination with the Education for Children and Youth Experiencing Homeless program in Pennsylvania, would like your support with children that experience homeless. If you would like to support students who are experiencing homelessness, you can bring in donations during Homeless Awareness Week, October 27th to the 31st. There are boxes that have been placed at the end of the hallway. Row for you. <laughs> What? Rotunda. What's that mean? Rotunda <laughs> for you to drop off don your donations. A list of all the items needed for donation can be found above the boxes in each hallway rotunda. Here's a short video. Hey Austin. Hey Bruce. What are you doing? Uh, helping out the homeless awareness team. What's that? Uh, that's where you bring in hygiene products, school supplies, and non perishable food items for the homeless people. No, oh, when's the last day I can bring? Uh, October 31st. Technology Student Association, TSA, meeting. The TSA will have their first meeting this Thursday, October 30th, in the LGI room from 3 to 4. If you are interested in having fun and competing in STEM competitions, TSA is for you. TSA is open to students in grades 7 through 12. If you cannot attend the meeting next Thursday, please sign up in E111 or E109 with Mr. Hutz or Mr. Beach. TSA work days will be held every Monday and Thursday after school from 3 to 4.30. Here's a short video.
Seventh grade football. This year's edition of the Rams seventh grade football was pretty special. Whether it was a long run, deep pass, kick return, punt return, or defensive touchdown, this year's seventh grade gridiron heroes lit up the scoreboard in style. These Rams scored a remarkable 338 points while allowing just 38 for their opponents. This 300 point differential was more than enough to propel them to a perfect 8-0 undefeated season while earning the best record in the Laurel Highlands Conference. The team grabbed victories over Penn Cambria, Cambria Heights, Bishop Guilfoyle, Bedford, Johnstown, Somerset, Four Hills, and Central Cambria. This group of young men have proven they have a bright future. Ram football fans should have something to be excited about over the next five years. And now for the weather. Good morning, Ram Nation. I'm Walter Brimley, Ram TV diver and meteorologist. The high temperature for today is 73 degrees and the low is 49. There is a slight chance of rain. And with trick or treat coming up, there is also on Thursday there's a higher chance of diabetes. <laughs> Have a great day, Rachel. Go Rams. Hi, I'm here with your current events for October 28, 2014. Amber Vincent, one of the nurses that treated the first person with Ebola in the United States, has been released from the hospital this week. She had been diagnosed with Ebola, but now has a clean bill of health. She's the second and last nurse from Texas that had contracted and been cleared of the disease. Iraqi Kurdish fighters will be sent to Syria in the upcoming weeks to help combat ISIS. The extremist group has moved to Kobani and taken over a group of villages in the area, which is where the soldiers are headed. A 14-year-old in France was arrested for attempting to attack a woman while dressed as a clown. Officials say this is just one of many serious cases cases of people dressing up as clowns and committing violent or strange acts in the European nations. Well, no one knows exactly why this trend started, but some speculate it might be related to the new season of American Horror Story, which includes a killer clown. That's it for your world news. See you tomorrow. Um, everybody come out tonight and support the Richland Rams boys soccer team at Johnstown at 7. Should be a great game, and it's going to be nice. Thank God. Have a Ram-tastic, Ram-tastic day. day.